The delegate from Fairfax, Delegate Boss Bo Boisco. Uh. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the, the House, I, I'm glad that Mr. Collins is here as well. Um, I rise before for a point of personal privilege. Many of us who are, are standing up for abortion rights are mothers. We are fathers. We are parents who have chosen to, to give birth to children, and we very much support families making their own decisions. I saw a movie this weekend that reminded me of this debate. It was called um, Three Billboards. And it started out with a, a woman who put up three billboards in her community speaking out against an injustice that she saw in her personal family. And what ensued, without spoiling it for all of you who haven't seen it, was her speaking up to express her concern and valid problem ended up in mass violence in her community, fighting once against the other. People were not listening to one another. They were, they were coming from a point of their own personal feelings of guilt, of sadness, of anger, and they stopped listening to one another. You all in this room have heard me talk about the reason that I find abortion as something that's really important because I was told I should never ever have another child again um, because I have a health problem. And I was going to give a canned speech that I gave earlier today, but I decided not to do that. What I want us as all, as an entire body here today to think about is that we don't know the other person's perspective. And you don't know what's going on in the life of the people who are trying to make these decisions for themselves. And I don't believe that politicians are the best people to make that decision. It's not saying that it shouldn't happen for some families. And I'm very glad that Mr. Collins is with us. I'm glad that I have my two children. I love my children. I think everybody in this room loves their children and loves their families. And, but that doesn't mean that abortion is always the wrong choice for every single person. And we have a responsibility in our communities to our voters to say, you probably know better than I do on this personal decision. Over the weekend we saw the, the march happened again, and there were thousands, tens of thousands of people who came out. My, my scarf today has signs from that, and I, I'm really proud of that. But I think what it reminds me is that people are thinking about this. People are angry. We do need to, we need to stop using this as a political football. I don't, I don't want to see in our body where we can't work together anymore because we're so angry at one another based on our personal, private feelings, whether it's we were adopted, whether someone had to make a very difficult decision in a time of crisis, we owe it to one another and to our state of Virginia to do better than that. And I'm asking you all to listen to me, to listen to your hearts, and to understand that it's not, you know, it's not who can get the biggest headlines, and it's not who can get the biggest fundraising out of this. These are real people's lives at stake. And unless you have been asked in a doctor's office to make that difficult decision and told either you're going to live or your child will live, and should that child still have a mommy, you don't have the right to make those decisions. So I have a bill called the Whole Woman's Health. I had it last year, and it didn't get a hearing, and I made a decision to speak out about it in public. Um, but it will repeal the unnecessary provisions that are medically unnecessary. Um, on a right to choose. And I'm going to ask you all to think about, you know, you can still talk to your, your house of worship. You can still talk to the people that you love and care about. But I don't think we in this body deserve to make that decision for somebody else. And if you, if you really think that, they, that we do, I'd, I'd love to have a personal conversation with you. Because I think this is too important and too powerful and and you're not going to have to live with those consequences. Somebody else is going to have to do that. Thank you.